wreck fishing community really do care about the river. This is an amazing fishery. We've got whiting, flathead, tailor, brim, and uh, you know, a really strong sense of responsibility to care for this place uh, so we can continue to enjoy fishing with our friends and family on the Swan River right in the heart of the metropolitan area for, for many generations to come. Most fishing enthusiasts clean up after themselves, but even a small amount of fishing waste in our marine and estuarine environments can be harmful. Every year across the state, thousands of marine animals, dolphins, seals, turtles and birds are killed or injured by poorly discarded line and tackle. In the waterways in and around Perth um, and off our coast, um, there are large numbers of wildlife. They share that space with us humans um, and so they can be impacted by the actions of us in that space. So for example, they can be impacted by entanglements of fishing line, they can ingest the plastic waste uh, that ends up in the environment and they can be struck by vessels uh, moving through those environments. Look, over the last eight years we've had quite a number of entanglements of dolphins in the Swan Canning River Park. Uh, we've seen seven entanglements leading up to the death of dolphins in the river park in, those, in that time. In 2012, a young dolphin entangled in fishing line became a dramatic reminder of the dangers wildlife face. Three-year-old calf, Gizmo, was fatally injured when fishing line cut into his dorsal fin. His story has inspired the Reel It In campaign in the Swan Canning River Park. The joint effort by the Department of Biodiversity Conservation and Attractions, Native Animal Rescue, Wreckfish West, and Keep Australia Beautiful initiative Clean Marine has seen fishing line bins installed at popular fishing locations in partnership with more than a dozen riverside local governments. Yeah, so the, the, the river offers such amazing fishing right from the, the ocean right through to the upper reaches and so these fishing line disposal units are, are strategically distributed right through the length of the river at all the key locations to, to make it easier for fishers to do the right thing and uh, dispose of their you know, discarded fishing line or bait bags in the correct manner. So the, the fishing line disposal units are, are specifically designed, they're, they're fire resistant, they're made out of recycled material. They keep the, the, the waste captive uh, in this environment, um, away from the wind, away from scavenging things like crows and, and feral cats and the like, and uh, make sure that the, the fishing line and the bait bags that are contained within it are, are safe to be emptied uh, at the appropriate time. Native Animal Rescue goes out at least once a week, attending a set number of bins, emptying them all, um, replacing the bins if necessary and carrying out simple maintenance. Um, we bring all the contents back to the centre where we follow the Taranga Blue data sheets and we go through the individual bin content and see yeah, what has been accumulated during a week. Uh, the project's been a huge success. Uh, we've successfully collected over 63 kilometres worth of fishing lines since the program's inception in December 2013. Over 10,000 hooks, 10,000 sinkers, and uh, we now have 65 units throughout the river park. And we've actually now started expanding the real in program to the coast, where we've got some bins installed at Frio Port, Cottesloe Beach, and up there at Hillary's. Fishing around the state remains a much loved pursuit but it doesn't have to impact on our local wildlife. You can help us tackle the issue of waste in our environment. Help us reel it in. Let us know if you know of a location that could benefit from a reel it in fishing line bin, or if you're interested in adopting a bin as a volunteer. If you spot entangled wildlife, call the Wild Care Helpline on 94749055. You can also download the Wildcare Helpline app or the Wreckfish West app by visiting the App Store or Google Play.